All right, ladies and gentlemen, this next question asks us to solve this equation graphically. And the original equation is 2x squared minus 4 equals 5x. Now, if you've watched my last video, when I taught you how to solve graphically, the first thing I taught you to do was to put the equation in standard form. So my first step here is going to be to rewrite the equation by bringing the 5x over, by subtracting 5x from both sides. And standard form would be this, 2x squared minus 5x minus 4 is 0. Now, what I'm going to do, since it says solve graphically, is I'm going to pull out my calculator. And what I have underlined here becomes the function I'm going to graph. And what I'm going to do when I graph that function is look for its zeros, okay? And that will give me the answer to this equation. I'm going to find out where that function is zero. So if I locate the zeros of this function, I have just solved that equation. So I come over to my calculator. Oh, let me make sure it's on. Okay. And I always, you know me, I like to start with Zoom 6 to make sure I have a standard window, and I do. I'm going to type Y equals, and I'm going to type in 2x squared minus 5x minus 4. And I'm going to graph it. Okay. I obviously have two answers, because, and the reason I know that is this graph, this function, has two zeros. And each one of those zeros is an answer to my original equation. So, what I need to do is I need to find those zeros. And the way I'm going to do that, since they're not clear, you know, you can't just look and say, oh, they're integers, I'm going to go to the Calculate menu by hitting Second Function, trace. That takes me to the calculate menu and I'm going to pick option 2 for 0. Now the first 0 I'm going to try to find is this one. I want you to picture an imaginary vertical line running through that location on the x-axis. We are asked to find the left bound of that 0. Well, left bound I would move my dead bug or my spider to the left of that imaginary vertical line and hit enter. Now it wants the right bound. So again I use my arrow keys and I move the dead bug to the right of that zero, to the right of that imaginary vertical line and hit enter. And now it wants guess. So I move my spider on the zero and I hit enter. And you were asked, I believe, to write the answer to the nearest, to, to accurate to three decimal places or accurate to the nearest thousandth. So the zero would be approximately negative 0.637. Now, if this number had been a five or higher, we would have rounded that up to an eight, but it's not. So one answer is x is approximately, not equals because it's not exact, we're rounding it, x is approximately negative 0.637. That's one of my answers. Now, I have one more answer to find, namely that one. So I have to start the process over again. I hit second function trace, I pick option 2 for 0, but this time, I'm looking at that location. So I draw, in my mind, I draw an imaginary vertical line running through that point. And when it says left bound, you are going to put the spider on the graph, or the dead bug, whatever you want to call it, the flashing cursor. You're going to put it on the graph to the left of that imaginary vertical line. And it's there now, so we hit enter. Now we're going to use our arrow keys and move it to the right of that imaginary vertical line. I'm going to hit enter. And now I put it on the zero, which is a guess, and I hit enter. And the calculator tells me my zero is, a, is it says equals, but we're rounding it, so we're going to say approximately 
3.137. Again, this is less than a 5, so we leave it as a 7. So that is my 0, approximately 3.137. X is approximately 3.137. And on my test, or on the final exam, I will tell you what degree of accuracy I want for your answers when you're doing this. Okay. So practice learning how to use the zero function. And remember, I sent you a, um, an email that had an a attachment that said, how do I find zeros? Step by step by step what I just went through.